Hey, what's up there gamers? It's Lost in Place, and this is going to be my review of the multiplayer for Dead Space 2. You know, I'm not even going to touch the campaign. There's about a hundred dozen other videos out there about the campaign review, and oh, how it's so scary. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Well, guess what? I don't play games to be scared. I play them to play multiplayer, play against real people, and then I can yell in their face because I'm better than them. So every other review I've read, it's just a couple sentences about a tacked-on multiplayer. Well, that doesn't really do it justice, you know? So the setup is pretty simple. It's four humans against four aliens. The aliens in this game are called necromorphs. They're some sort of demon alien, so that makes them even worse than your regular alien. And you gotta fight your way through them and complete some objectives to get to the end. There's only five maps, but each map has a different objective that you have to complete, and you play each one twice. One is the humans, one is the necromorphs, and then it tallies up the total of the two rounds, and you're winners. So playing as a necromorph, it's uh, pretty fun. You've got the spitter, which is my personal favorite. The spitter, it can attack from long range, and it has a charge attack, so if you hold the trigger down, your spit becomes a lot more nasty, and then when you let it go, it hurts more, which makes perfect sense. And then it has a close range melee execution thing that, wow, man, watching this in action really is pretty awesome. Really satisfying when you pull one of these off. Also, you have the puker, and this dude is just big badass, really ugly, and he pukes on you. So I don't know what it is about the alien spit. Maybe it's like the movie Aliens with Sporty Weaver, you know, the spit's like acid. I guess that's what they were going for here. So it'll spit on you, it'll vomit on you, and you'll die. Oh, uh, you also have the pack. The pack are these cute and cuddly infants. Well, they used to be cute and cuddly. Now they're mutated bastards from hell. And you want to avoid them at all costs, especially a group of them. They have a nasty execution move where they kind of just jump on your face and stick their pelvic area in your face and then rip off your face. So, yeah, it's not really a pretty sight. Uh, lastly, what did I forget? Oh, the lurker. Yeah, this, this Dr. Seuss horror nightmare of a creature. It's a cross between a porcupine and a frog or something, but this bastard, he, he's like the sniper of the group, he has long range attacks, and he can climb on the walls, he can climb on the ceilings, uh, kind of disorientating using that, but man, it's still pretty satisfying when you get up on the roof and get a kill from upside down, uh, nothing beats doing that. Now as a necromorph, you have lower health, but you're very fast and agile, you spawn quicker, and you have choice to spawn, you can pick any event on the map. And you can also see the humans through walls. Who knew that aliens had x-ray vision as well? But it's really handy, and the best way to use these guys is attacking a group. You don't want to be on your own. Uh, otherwise, you'll get your head chopped off pretty easily. So the marine soldiers, the security officers, whatever the hell you want to call them, they're pretty badass too. Um, they've got a special ability called stasis, which is extremely useful. And you use that, and it freezes your enemy for a brief time and it makes for an easy kill or two. Um, also, they have uh, a lot of firepower and a lot more health. Now, while I found the gameplay a whole lot of fun, really addicting, uh, there are some flaws. Uh, basically, as you progress in levels, you get a lot more bonuses to your attacks, more range, a lot more weapons, so it's pretty obvious the higher ranked you are, the better your character is going to be, and it's really not fair, I don't think, that you know, someone who just starts this game, you ain't got dick to start with. I mean, you're going to get massacred if you're playing a team of high-ranked people. But if you get beyond that, or if you play with good people and you can rank up, it makes it a lot more fun. Also, one of the really good things about this game is I saw next to no lag. Actually, I can't even think of one time where I saw any lag. I mean, that's unheard of in multiplayer. Maybe because there's only eight people, or it's EA servers, who knows. But either way, that really makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. On the downside, it is an individual host type setup, so if the individual host quits, the game will end. But I'd rather have that happen than have bad lag. So overall, man, this, this multiplayer is a lot of fun. I am enjoying it thoroughly. I do see it kind of wearing thin after maybe a month or so. I mean, there's only five maps. Uh, it's going to get boring. So I'm really hoping they come out with some DLC. Um, other than that, you know... Look at this, you're going to get a good and fun multiplayer experience and you're going to get uh, supposedly an awesome campaign as a bonus. Um, or if you're one of those guys who bought this game just for the campaign, man, throw in the multiplayer. I guarantee you're going to enjoy it. It's, it's definitely a lot of fun. So That's all I got for you. Hopefully this helps you decide if you want to get this game or not. If you do get it, be sure and check the link in the description. We've got a free online strategy guide, complete with campaign walkthroughs, multiplayer class guides, and a ton of really useful info that will help you get past the hardness of this when you start out. 
Also, if you need your info on the go, check out our Dead Space 2 app. It's got a lot more features, and it's only $1.99 on the iTunes Marketplace. So that's all I got for you. I'm lost in place, and I'm out of here.